and welcome back to The Chronic Corner. I'm Lauren, and this episode is all about temperature dysregulation. Now, if you have dysautonomia or POTS, more than likely you experience this. Um, Our bodies do not regulate temperatures like most people's. We very quickly go from being way too hot to way too cold, almost like we're menopausal, but we're not. Um, It's like we get hot flashes, but it, it has nothing to do with menopause. It's just how our bodies are. In addition to that, very high temperatures and very low temperatures can affect us and exacerbate our symptoms as well. So a lot of us are heat intolerant or cold intolerant. For me, I know in the summer right now, my pot symptoms are flaring much worse. Um, And even if I'm too hot outside and I come in to the air conditioning, I can get cold, like too cold, very quickly and have um, cold intolerance and have to warm myself back up. It is the most bizarre thing and it is always, always changing. Um, But the best advice we can give to people experiencing this is to be prepared and dress in layers. So if you know that you're gonna be in an area that is gonna be warmer or colder, to have sweaters and socks or a sleeveless tank underneath so that if you do get hot, you can take a jacket off or have a cooling vest. Um, We also have a really great video on our channel, if you haven't seen it already, about heat intolerance and some tips for dealing with that. Um, But we would love to hear from you guys in the comments below if there are certain things that have helped you with temperature regulation. And for more things chronic illness and dysautonomia, visit dinette.org. Thank you so much for watching. 